All right, you can see the uh, front of our house here. Some new solar panels. I walk around, see the trees. Nice blue sky, it's about eight in the morning. There's the mailbox, another small tree. A large tree. See the sun is behind this big tree right now. So I'm gonna set up the solar pathfinder and show you what it shows. Clearly, I'm not getting any sun on the panels and it's sun's well in the sky because it's the middle of summer here. All right, so I'm in <clears throat> I'm in front of the uh, new panels here. And I'm now going to use my solar pathfinder to tell me exactly how much uh, shading I'm getting throughout the year. So let me zoom in on this a little bit. Okay, so the way this works is you put this grid on here that faces south. You can adjust the rotation of this so the uh, red part of the compass is facing due north. And then you also level it with this bubble level in the center. So this whole, this whole uh, part of the instrument rotates. And <clears throat> what I'll do next is put a reflective dome over the top. And you can see the dark areas will reflect the shaded or dark spots. The light areas is where the sun is coming through. And you can use this along with this chart here to actually predict what percent of sun you're going to get through every month of the year at this location. And you put different grates on here based on the latitude. So I'm falling in the 43 to 49 north latitude range. You also make slight adjustments east to west based on your uh, the difference in the magnetic heading compared to due south. And uh, where I'm at, it's very close to right on the zero magnetic declination line. So um, let me put the dome on. I'll show you what that looks like. OK, so I got the dome on. You can see the outline of the trees of the house and some tree shading over here. Actually, the right way to do it is straight down on it. So I'll try to get centered right over that middle bubble level. And you can see the shading of that tree that I mentioned earlier off to the east. And I got some to my south and some to the west. And then I got obviously the house to the north that will uh, block some of the sun for some of the month. So let me take a photo of this and then I'll, on the computer, figure out how many... Uh, how much percent of sun I'm actually getting through at this location. All right, so here's that photo I took. Now let me just go through what this uh, chart really is showing. You can see uh, on the bottom here, this is the hours of the day. So that big tree that I had to my east, which you could tell is blocking the sun, it's a uh, reading in hours. So here's the nine o'clock line right here. So it's going to take till about 9 o'clock in the morning for the sun, which right now is over here, to transition to be in, up in the sky here where it's actually hitting my solar panels. So uh, clearly there's a, a lot of shade being thrown on my panels because of that big tree to the east that I showed up on. Now if I transition, <clears throat> if you look around the horizon, you can see the uh, shading from all of the other large trees from going from east to west around near the horizon. And that's what we want to try to take, it, take a, a measurement of to determine how much impact that's going to have on the amount of solar that's getting through. The, uh, <clears throat> the other thing you notice is that the months of the year are shown on here. Now in the summer, 
May, June, July tend to have about the same amount of time for the sun in the sky. So they're kind of lumped together. Same with April, August, they're paired up. March, September, February, October, they're paired up. And then when the sun is lower in the sky in the winter months, you can see that's near the horizon. And so December, January, November are together. Now the numbers that you see in here are listed every half an hour. And basically going from uh, beginning of the day to the end of the day, the solar day, you add up those numbers and it would come out 100% if you had no shading at problems at all. Well clearly I have trees around uh, my house and so I have to subtract those numbers out. So the basic idea is you want to take these numbers that are in the, you know, shown in clear and in the sky, add those up and that will tell you the percent of the time that the sun is shining through. Uh, and not being obstructed by trees or any other obstacles. So that's the basic idea. And so you can tell in my case I got mainly about 9 in the morning is when I should expect to get some energy on my solar panels. If it's in the winter time, like December, January, November, these trees here, which are to the southeast, are blocking the sun all the way up till about 11.30 and then I'll start to get some energy through. Come around here, uh, again we'll pick up some more trees to my west, cutting, cutting down a little bit on the solar energy that's getting through. So clearly those winter months are really killing me based on this location. Now the only saving grace is the trees will have the leaves off so you'll probably get some light through that you know, won't show up on this uh, diagram here, but this can kind of gives you the worst case if you do it in the summertime when all the leaves are on the trees. So let's take a look at the uh, spreadsheet. So anyway, here's the spreadsheet I put together. I just put the months of the year, and I put every half an hour starting at about that nine o'clock time frame that the sun will get through to my east. You can tell in the winter months here, I'm basically not getting any sun through until just past 11 o'clock where I can start to take some numbers off of the chart for solar uh, solar getting through leaving me in the winter months so only able to really get access to about 50 percent of the uh, time that the Sun is up because of the trees low to the horizon in our location but uh, in the, the core summer months spring summer months getting up into the mid to high 80s at times which I think is pretty good for a residential uh, setting and uh, so I was fairly happy with these results uh, obviously you want to use this tool to find the best location on your property or on a customer's property for putting up uh, folder you know solar photovoltaic or solar thermal panels so that you can get the maximum percent of the Sun hitting the panels at that location so anyway I hope you found that helpful you can get this instrument on the internet uh, for about well, it's between two and three hundred dollars. I happen to get this one on eBay for one hundred dollars, barely, barely even used. But I'll be able to use it on a number of my clients' uh, locations to help them out with their projects. Talk to you later.